Okay, so the problem is two and three, four. Is, so the problem is 11 and a half divided by 2 and 3 fourths because it's asking how many strips of ribbon can be cut from 11 and a half. So how many times can 2 and 3 fourths go into 11 and a half? So first you'd want to turn both of these to an improper fraction. So 11 and a half, and you do that by multiplying the whole number by the denominator then adding the numerator. So 11 times 2 is 22 plus 1 is 23. But you keep the denominator, so that would be 23 over 2. Then or 2 and 3 fourths. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3 is 11 over 4. So then you want to multiply by the reciprocal. So you, turn, so you switch the denominator and the numerator and change the division sign to a multiplication sign. For just the second factor, right? Yeah. Good. So it should be 4 over 11. So then you do 23 times 4, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 92. So then 92. You do 2 times 11, which is 22. Now, but you can't keep your answer like that, so you have to turn it back into a, into a mixed number. So you divide 92 by your denominator, so 22. So that goes into it four times. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Four over the two, right? Because four go, 22 goes into 92. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So 22 times 4 88. Okay, yeah, 88. I'm taking. Oh, oops. 12 take away 8, take 4. And then I'm taking. Check that again. That eight isn't that eight minus eight. Yeah, I think I did something wrong around here. Okay, so I think you're okay. Keep on going. You've got four, and you've got four left over. Okay. Yeah, four. So cross, erase that one you just wrote down because it's not. Yeah. Right there, it, it's yeah. It's just eight minus eight, which is zero. And there's and four left over. Four. Uh huh. So you take the remainder and you take this number. So it's write our, write our whole number. So four holes, right? So it's four holes and then four. And then what's our denominator? Two. And where'd the 22 come from? Our, I think this is called uh -huh. motion. Yep. Yeah. Your original, yeah. So now is this a final answer or do we have to simplify yep. it? Simplify. There you go. Keep on going. So divided by two is two. And you can't simplify that again, so that's the final answer. So what does 4 and 2 elevenths mean? That's how many times 2 and 3 fourths can go into 11 and a half. Okay, so how many strips can we make? 4 and 2 elevenths. Okay. Number 12, 6 and 3 fifths divided by 3 and 2 sixths. First, we have to change 6. Three-fifths into I mean, an improper fraction, which is three, three over five. And divide, and then you have to change three and two six into improper fraction two, so that is twenty. So what's the next step? The next step is to read down 
the problem. Uh -huh. So it's very, very over. Um, but this time we're supposed to time. Uh huh. So times. And do you remember what that's called when we're going to flip this number? Reciprocal. Perfect. So it's 6 over 20. Uh-huh. And then that equals 2. And can I leave my answer like that? No. What do you have to do? I have to change it. So that would equal to 1 in 9800. Can you explain where you got 1 in 98 over 100? Like what did you do to get that? Uh, 100 goes into 198 once and there's 98 left. Perfect. Are we finished now? No, because <laughs> we have to simplify it. That is 1 and 49 over 50. Perfect. Nice job. Okay, so first you have to change this into a fraction, so 2 by 4 equals 8, plus 3 equals 11, and then fourth because the denominator stays the same, and then multiplied by 4 tenths. So no reciprocals when we're multiplying or nope. anything? Perfect. 11 by 4 equals 44 because I'm saying times 11 equals itself, but the uh, same number. 4 by 10 equals 40. And 40 goes into 44 once with 4 left over, over 40. And then you have to simplify it. They both can be divided into 4, so divided by 4 equals 1. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 40 divided by 4 equals 10, so 1 and 1 tenth. So First, you bring down the problem, six ninths, and then change the division sign to a multiplication sign. And then you change the reciprocal, and that will be seven six equals, and six times seven is 42. Then nine times six is 54. Uh -huh. And then you can reduce that. You can divide it into Is it six. I think six will work for both numbers. Okay. Seven, six. And then six can go into 42 seven times. And then six can go into 54 nine times. And that's your answer because seven isn't bigger than nine and you can't reduce both of those. Good job. So this part of the test is the divisibility rules. So from 135, <coughs> 2 does not go into it, 3 does, 4 does not, 5 does, 6 doesn't, but 9 does, and 10 does not. For 404, 2 goes into it, 3 doesn't, 4 goes into it, Five and six, seven, or five, six, nine, ten, don't. Okay, so this problem.
algorithms. Describe in paragraph 4 how you use GCF to simplify a fractional answer. For example, my answer is 120 over 180. So first what you'll do is you'll use GCF and you'll do 120 and 180. So for 120, I like to split it in half. So I like to do 60 and 2 and circle 2, 30 and 2. <laughs> 30 and 2, circle 2. And. You can move that over if you want, it's okay. Check that again. Circle the ones that they have in common. So fives, threes, twos, and twos. Then you multiply the circle ones together. So two times two times three times five. And two times two is four times three times five. Four times three is twelve times 5 is 60, and then you'll do 120 divided by 60, which is 2, and 180 divided by 60, which is 3, so your, your fractional answer would be 2 thirds. And on the test, you would have written that out in words. Good job. Okay, so you look at this problem and you would have to do this first 8 by 5 plus 1 but he didn't do that so he did 8 plus 5 that would equal 13 I mean 8 plus 5 equals 13 plus 1 so he just did it wrong didn't he? yeah he just did it wrong he even forgot to add the 1 so so, but he did that step correctly. So, why don't you go to the right-hand side of the screen and show me what it sh the first step should look like. It should look like... Okay. Equals... That would be 8 by 5 equals 40 plus 1. So, 41 fifths. It should look like that. And then, you'd have to divide... So he did that part right, correct? Yes. The 11 fourths, okay. Yes. So the next um, step? Um, next step, he switched the reciprocal with the first part instead of these two. He switched them with the 5 and the 13. And you're not supposed to do that. You were supposed to switch 4 and 11. Okay. So um, show me what that step looks like all the way across. It should look like... The correct, and using the correct numbers. Using the correct numbers. Oh. And then he got this adding no. 
So we got 55, 50 seconds yes. after multiplying correct. I mean yeah. the wrong number. So go ahead and solve out like he, like you are supposed to. And then what was his final mistake? Uh, his final mistake is that he forgot to, um... You're he, right. He forgot to simplify. Perfect. So go ahead and simplify your final step. Okay. So... Fifty-five I two equals one hundred and ten. So... So... Two... So your final answer is what? 2 and 54, 54, 55. Perfect.